Look who we've got, look who we've got. Now, I think it is little Shongololo. If it is, she's grown a whole lot. She has quadrupled in size. Actually, I'm not sure because I haven't seen them for so long. Who do you think? I think I'm going to have to have some help here. I think it is little Shong... Well, are you Hosanna? Oh, my goodness. I can't even tell anymore. It's been such a long time. But maybe you can help me. Hashtag Safari. Oh, no, it's Hosanna. It's Hosanna. What are you doing here? Where's your sister? It is, too. It is our little fella. Is it Hosanna or could it be Tamba? Now, this is the time. I've never seen what Tamba before. Um, because I'm just trying to think now. Maybe we can get some help. I think I'm going to need some assistance, Megan. What are all the wonderful viewers saying? Because they know these animals much better than I do. I don't get to see their spotted cat. Everybody's thinking. You're thinking just as hard as I am. All I know is that I'm super excited to, of course, uh, to have a, a sighting with with a leopard. It's been quite some time. Actually, I think this face is Hosanna's face. I haven't seen him for quite some time though either. He just looks a lot like his father here. But I shall wait for your confirmation uh, just to confirm exactly. But how beautiful is this cat either way? So lovely, isn't it? And so close. So as we came past here, I think that's what those birds were complaining about. I think that they had seen him from a, a distance and were shouting and we did stop and listen and we, we could have completely driven right past him especially if he was sitting in some of this long grass he's completely com invisible but now our only problem is is that he isn't here on our traverse he's on a little gari at the moment so let's hope that he decides to stay put where he is or he comes north or even further east and then crosses on to an area that we can view him on but this is really really nice megan do we have any answers just yet or is everybody just as confused as i am it's a tough one it is a tough one isn't it because i've never seen tumba before i've seen a couple of pictures of him but i haven't really uh well yeah i mean i suppose it's a bit difficult let me i'm actually i'm going to look on my mobile device while all of you also search i'm going to get a picture of hosana very quickly and have a look at it so he's got two blotches and a spot on uh, the right side of his face and he's got one two three four on the other side of his face maybe it's tumba maybe it's my first time maybe those tracks that were seen this morning around shibamu perhaps it is tandy no no Okay, that's interesting. So I believe you're all asked, uh, well, you've started a Twitter poll. Thank you very much, Megan, um, for for that and, and Chantel. So we're trying to figure out if it is Tamba or if it is Hosanna. I'm just trying to think now. He's not particularly large. But we will have to just, um, we'll have to just wait and see. I'm stumped now. If, if you guys are all stumped, you make me very nervous because you guys sit and you get to, we see these leopards more than I do. Obviously, I only get to see them when I'm on safari. However, uh, you are lucky. You get to watch the entire show. So whichever lucky presenter uh, is the one to get the cat, you still see it either way. So please help us out over here. I'm trying to think it actually makes more sense if it is Tumba um, because of those adult leopard tracks that we have had in the area. That makes sense. It must be mom searching for something to eat. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Michelle and Natasha, you've both said big ears. Uh, so you say it must be Tumba. I, I'm starting to think uh, that it is more likely to be Tumba purely just because of the whole situation that's going on again with those female leopard tracks in this area. And we have seen um, for, for the last two months now since Karula's disappearance, we've been seeing young male leopard tracks as well as adult leopard tracks moving around on Mamba, on Cheetah Cutline, on Leadwood, and we were stumped. We couldn't quite work it out who, uh, who it is. So it, it is evident uh, that Tandy and Tamba are slowly starting to creep further and further into Karula's old territory. And it's perfect. It's a perfect spot. If somebody can come and fill this void that we now have, well, I think it should be uh, one of Karula's offspring. Uh, even an older girl to potentially just rule the roost until Shongile is old enough 
to hold a territory of her own. Now, this is quite exciting. I think I agree with you. I think I think this is Tumba. I think he's a little bit smaller. Hosanna is a lot stockier of a leopard. And, and now that you think about it, he's quite dark around the eyes. He's got the most gorgeous green eyes. And, and, and he has got big ears. They do look a little bit out of proportion. He's creeping around. Look at them, though. I don't know if he's maybe watching where he puts his feet because of all the uh, the different thorn trees, the buffalo thorns and the knob thorns. There's lots of small ones growing around here. Or if he's maybe looking to catch a bird. But look at that beautiful light. How cool is this? Yes. Go team, go. You know, we really couldn't do anything without all of you, all the viewers that are watching. So I, we, I just want to say a big thank you for all the hard work that you put in with helping us ID these animals and, you know, finding out information about things that we perhaps don't know, always sending us articles. I can tell you right now, it does not go unnoticed. We take everything uh, that you send us, and I always look at it, and I know that the rest of the presenters do exactly the same thing. So thank you so much. And I think we're going to go with Tumba here. So that's good news for us. Potentially, we could see a second leopard pop up. So how exciting is this? I am so happy right now. We're going to have to just hold our spot for the moment. We are in a very awkward uh, um, sort of position. We obviously want all the cars to have a good view of the leopard, so we'll just take the back seat for a bit because we did have a very, very nice front-on view. Now, he's not particularly skittish, but he, he does definitely watch the vehicles as they move around. He sort of he sort of crouches down in, in the long grass when we move about a bit. What a gorgeous boy. I hope that you're all excited just as I am because, you know, we've put in so much work over the last few days in trying to find uh, cats and we've been lucky with the lions. Ali has had phenomenal luck with her return to Safari Live and, and Tristan, he always brings the cat luck with him. He's, those two, they're fantastic. They're the cat whisperers. Uh, and Brent also, well, he seems to be the lion whisperer of Kenya, but I haven't seen, had a decent leopard sighting. The last one I had was of uh, Hosanna, and it took us many, many, well, much patience, sorry, in order to, of course, see him. Would you like me to go a little bit forward for you, Sebastian, to get that? Yeah. Are you happy with that? So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm just actually going to edge slightly further forward. Luckily, Sebastian's now twisted all around. He's just about sitting in the front row with me now. <laughs> Come on, now now Wendy decides that she's not going to work. Don't you do that, Wendy. I'm gonna pull off here in case anybody else needs. How's that? Is that a little bit better? It's just very awkward where we've positioned. Otherwise, what I can do is I can do a full turn around, if that will help. We, yeah, do you wanna do that? Okay, give us two seconds. You can see there's other cars. We're gonna do it, we're gonna actually just turn around and drive forwards into the sighting. Right, it'll take us two seconds or two shakes of a lamb's leg. That's probably easier. Oh, here he's tracks too. Beautiful tracks. He's got big feet. He doesn't have small leopard feet, I'll tell you that. Those big ears match his big paws. Ha ha. Now, oh, where did you go? There he is. Just find a nice little gap for you. That should be all right in there. Just a little bit further forward. I'm not doing a good job. How's that? Good, yes. There we go. That's better. There he is. Now, Katie, you're wondering if Tamba is older than Hosanna. No, he isn't. He is younger, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll, I'll still remember when uh, I don't remember when Tandy had her cubs, but I, I do definitely uh, remember a, a couple of sightings, the very lucky sightings that Jamie had when Tandy still had two cubs. And, um, and the, the, the royals were a couple of months older than this lot. But I actually, I've never, like I said, I've never actually seen this, this young fellow, so I'm uncertain as to how old he is. I don't know why I'm thinking he's just over a year. And maybe he's just a year now. A year and a month, a year and two months, something like that. But um, what you might be thinking is, is Votumi is much older than Hosanna. He's the oldest out of the leopard cubs that we, we sort of get to see. Um, and he's, well, he's not a particularly large leopard at all. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it. So it's Votumi, then it's Hosani, Hosani, Hosanna and Shongile. And then we've got Tamba. 
and then we've got Shadow's little cub uh, slipping in just after that. But this is fantastic. I'm so happy. Now, I'm, he's, of course, still relying on Mom to catch him delicious treats, and Tandy seems to be a fantastic hunter. Uh, the day that she caught an adult water buck, that is impressive. So he, he gets to have good meals too. And it's important for a young boy like this that he gets as much nutrients as possible because, well, without them, he's not going to reach his potential size. Yes. And um, I'm just trying to think now, I wonder who the, suspicious, the suspicions are as to who the father is, because in this area, it could be, it could be um, Tingana, of course, that's probably the closest assumption as to who would be his father, maybe even quarantine, but I don't think so, because Tandy doesn't really venture too far further south and east into quarantine's area and I think it's a bit too far for the Anderson male to come out this way so I'm going to have to say that most likely the most possible father for the uh, of um of Tumba would have to be Tingana our resident boy but do you know that this was the same spot it's you know it's almost brought deja vu to me the last time that I saw Karula was right around here, just behind us, just off Ledwood Road. And and our dear friend Hosanna was actually sitting just on the side of the bank here. He was resting, and that was the last night that I saw Karula. I think she was seen the next day, just off in Little Gari. So one, oh, hang on, he's moving off. Let's tricky. In case he does disappear into the Mulwati, we are going to lose him. Like I said, he's not on our traverse. So if other cars do come into the sighting, they're going to have to take preference. But let's see, maybe he pops out again. So I'm always a little bit sad and sensitive and when I come around here and I see leopards again. It just it, br it brings back fond memories, of course, because it was a great last sighting that I had while we were doing the cannon testing. It was really nice. She was trying to hunt a scrub hare. Okay, are you, you going to go? Don't go down there. Come back, Tumba. Come back. No, I think we still got a good spot here. Yeah? Hmm. No, it's very difficult. I'm hoping he's just going to crawl back to the edge of this bank and give us another uh, view. Now, Vicky, you're wondering if leopard spots are just like human fingerprints. They are indeed. Each pattern on these, on all the animals out here, here he is, is completely unique. What has he seen? He's seen something. Look at that crouch, that movement. I don't know what he's spotted. Perhaps he's stalking Homo sapiens on the cars, <laughs> which would be a little bit too big for him. He might feel a bit brave now that he's sitting up on this ridge because um, he's higher than all of us. Or he's seen a squirrel or a mongoose or a bird or something like that in the trees. But this is quite cool. I like this little view that we've got of him. But yes, Vicky, so those spots are all unique. but And they sort of only really spots around his face and on his neck. But as you start going further and further down to his body, they develop into the rosettes. So just slightly different. The darker patch on the outside, the black. And then you've got that uh, brown color right in the middle. You can see that quite nicely over there. But cheetahs have got solid spots and so do hyenas spotted hyenas they've also got the solid spots on them oh my goodness can i we have to have to show you something very quickly i, I really want to be naughty and show you all the cameras that are on the car <laughs> there must be about five feels like there's 500 look at that look at all just quickly look at the lenses <laughs> Now the sound, that's maybe why he's so curious, because all he's hearing is <laughs> from all, actually listen, can I have a little listen, I just, this is really entertaining, can you hear it? Yeah. Listen. <laughs> that's, those are all, those are all the cameras, look at all the cameras. They are having the greatest sighting of their life, I can tell you that right now. It's not every single day that you get to have, well, even more than an eye view of a leopard. He's just higher uh, than eye level with that vehicle, so that is really cool. They must be getting a great, great opportunity, great photographic opportunity. Ah, oh, this is absolutely wonderful. My day is made. My jaw is sore from smiling. Ellie's still searching around. She's got herself back onto Fulamon's cut line. I'm wondering if she's still looking for that female leopard.